January camp is, uh, it's always a chance for us to kind of start off with the base testing and so the players went through two or three days of physical testing, obviously medical screening. We do that and then we got going with the ball and right off the bat, the first two, three days, they've been great. Players have been focused, fantastic energy from them and uh, you know, I think we've, we've gotten a lot covered in the first first few days we kind of started off with a defensive base and I think you know initially we're looking at obviously a great game against Denmark but beyond that is she believes and then beyond that obviously is qualifiers. I think 17 it gave me a chance to experiment to look at different players different systems and continue to play hard teams it's one thing trying to challenge yourself and, and playing teams that you're going to beat 6-0 you don't get a lot of answers so the latter stages of, of 17 we started to really look at the players that have come through that gauntlet the first eight nine months and you know look at the system that's best for us what suits our players so it suits our strengths and now it's it's getting really good at what we do I feel really good about this group of players these players all have something very special to bring and we have a great balance of players with a great deal of experience and played in big games. Then we have obviously some players that are gaining experience. And I think that balance is perfect for us. We have four goalkeepers in, all who have done exceptionally well in the league and deserve to be in here. And from what I've seen on match play and trainings, they, they, they've done very well. You know, in our back line, I think losing Becky at the beginning of the camp was tough, but obviously with Tierna here and Taylor now, you know, really locked in and committed to that outside back spot on the right side, Kelly on the left side. We're really starting to build cohesion on the unit. And then JJ, I still think having the flexibility to put her in a back line, to play her in the midfield. I mean, even when you know she plays in the six, at times she's got to drop in and fill fill gaps in our back line. And we have a variety of players, and it's wonderful. You know, and Mal and and Tobin and Dunny and even Lynn's ability to play in the wide areas. You know, it's a lot of depth, it's obviously competitive, but then having Alex who closed out last year in fantastic form and fashion and looking forward to that continuing. Press is playing in the nine and then obviously Lynn can play in the nine as well. In 2015, we played two in the middle and we didn't have a whole lot of depth there. And now with Lindsay Haran and, and Sammy and obviously Carly, JJ playing in there, Andy Sullivan, it gives us a lot of tools. As you look towards 2019, it's having a core of players that you can call upon. Stuff happens and so we have to be able to deal with that. And I think our investment now in this core of players that we have in here is, is going to pay dividends for us. You know, the World Cup is still 18 months away, but this is the group moving forward that we want to, you know, continue to mold and, and grow and, and really get this thing. So we are a very hard team to beat.